Okay, so I was thinking about switching this out because the motor is reverse polarity. However, the motor gets, the end bell gets extremely hot. And in my previous exper experience, when this happens, that means there's probably a short within the motor. Um, it gets hotter than I've ever touched. So there's something wrong with this motor. This motor has been, I believe, opened by somebody. Uh, let me talk about, okay, let's talk about everything here. When I first got this gun, it came with the MOSFET right here. Okay, when the MOSFET was wired up correctly, it would automatically shoot. If it was wired with reverse polarity, it supposedly worked. However, it, should, it shouldn't matter because if you just reverse the polarity, that's just the direction of how your motor goes. Um, but when I multi, use a multimeter on this, I was finding that the gate line uh, somehow was getting a current which there was no other wire going in, there's nothing. I, I exposed the heat shrink and then I put my heat shrink back over this. So I checked everything through this uh, thoroughly. And uh, this was not uh, part of it. It was part of an issue, but it was not part of the whole answer. So what probably happened here is this was this is definitely reverse polarity. I, I can prove that. Um, for some reason, the person, well, the, the person that sent me this bought this from somebody else. So somebody else got into this motor, put it backwards, and they probably somehow didn't assemble it correctly, or there's just a short because of the, um, the process of how this is made, sometimes the design. Uh, but this motor should definitely be switched out. In the process of switching out, it's it's not going to matter if I reverse the polarity now. So I'll talk to the person, see what they say about that uh, when I get some time for it. But uh, so this was automatic shooting. This is unreliable. Why? Because if this was hooked up the uh, correct way, and the motor is spinning backwards, you have what is called um, hitting into the, uh, trying to cycle the gears backwards and you have the antiversal latch. With the antiversal latch, what that does is if you pull the trigger, it creates uh, an amperage spike because the motor cannot turn. It's just locked up and you hold the trigger down, not even f really for that long. We're talking about a second. You can blow your fuse. Um, in that case, if you don't have a fuse, that's how you really destroy your MOSFET. And when you make a MOSFET, or any type of MOSFET that doesn't have a fuse, you can break it. So um, this line has fuse because I have one on it, but <clears throat> in all cases, there should be a fuse. So basically, a fuse might have saved this, and then you'd have to you know, reload the fuse. But in this case uh, here, we'll just go ahead and show that it is reverse polarity. So we've got black here and red here and you can see red right there if you follow the red line it ends up to be red okay see red line red if you do that and follow everything red on here so when this plugs in here you can see it's red at the top and still red at the top across that's how this works and then if you follow this red line, it goes into the fuse here, which goes down to this red right here. So, and then the battery. So there's no way that that is reverse polarity because, you know, it's the same. So then I hook up my reverse polarity cord, change it. And when I first had this hooked up, it just would click, which I knew then the polarity was jacked up. Somebody had messed with it um, because my wiring was right. So, okay, so now it's hooked up. If it shoots with reverse polarity, <laughs> it means it is reversed.
So right there, and this is really hot. So um, what I'm going to say is definitely this motor. It, if I'm going to have to open it up and work on it, um, it's probably going to have to be switched out anyways. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the gun. Just the motor is the is the issue right now. So I'll go ahead and pull this apart. And talk about so what happened um, when you buy a used gun you don't necessarily know what is uh, wrong with it and in this case this used gun somebody's been saying this motor somebody's changed this motor um, the polarity is wrong and you know you, you buy it because it's cheap and then you make your own MOSFET and you expect that you get a great deal but at the end of the day is it really better because now your MOSFET's not going to be working um, and <laughs> at the same time you have to get your motor uh, fixed up now or probably replace it uh, I could probably look at it and fix the short I'm thinking that there's just too much metal exposed somewhere something but I just want to demonstrate that it it is a uh, reverse polarity and that is a, a mistake by somebody that opened this and put it back together so be careful where you buy your used guns um, ask the person if they did any modifications whatsoever because this costs you more money down the line sadly